How can you make a fish grow lungs and breathe on land through its nose? In fact, the method seems simple. Cover the fish with damp straw to keep its body surface moist. However, the fish struggles violently and dies from sudden cardiac arrest due to extreme stress. So you think of Jesus on the cross and fix the live fish onto a wooden board. This indeed restricts its movement, but before any lungs appear, the fish bites its tongue and dies. The core problem is still not solved. Then you come up with another method, thread a rope through the fish's mouth and nostrils, bending its body into a curved bow shape and secure the tail tight. You submerge the tied fish in water for two hours. The moment you take it out, a miracle happens. The fish survives outside of water. What is the truth behind this? This unique bow-shaped binding effectively suppresses the fish's intense struggle, slows down its oxygen consumption, and allows its mouth and gills to stay open, enabling it to directly breathe air. Congratulations, you have invented the bowfish technique. It not only keeps fish alive outside water for up to half a month, but also greatly improves convenience for long-distance transportation and storage. Even today, with advanced technology, this this ancient wisdom still plays an important role in the aquaculture industry.